Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back to my channel, um, Blind Awakening Art. I am super excited about today's project, you guys. Um, we're going to start with a 10 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. You can see it has the one and a half inch sides. Um, and we're going to do a really cool swipe today. I'm going to actually layer the paint down the center of the canvas and then I'm going to swipe from the center uh, from the center out on each side. And then maybe we'll tilt it, maybe we will spin it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet exactly um, how I want to do that. So these first three colors over here are custom colors. This is just a really pretty teal. This is a sage green. This is a, a light aqua color. And this is Arteza Violet, okay? So, here we have TLP Cappuccino. Mmm, pretty, pretty. Okay, here, I got a mixture of pigments today, you guys. This is Eye Candy Chartreuse, another beautiful color. This is Black Diamond Emerald. This is Eye Candy Hanada Turquoise. And this is TLP Caramel Drizzle. So, um, I've got these lined up kind of the way that I'm going to lay them down. So I'm going to start with this paint and then I'm going to come in and drizzle these two pigments. Then I'm going to come back with this paint and then drizzle this pigment, come back with this paint, drizzle these two pigments and come back with this paint. So that's the order that we're going to go in. Um, I'm hoping if I decide to spin that I have enough room inside my puppy pool to do that because it's broken. <laughs> it is broken. You can see here, I've tried to duct tape it together, but I have to push this in so that I can lean over and reach my canvas because when it's upright, it's, it's 12 inches high. Well, I'm only four foot nine. This is sitting on a craft table. So this comes up to my chest. So that doesn't really give me any room to lean in like when I'm trying to blow a bloom or actually for all my paintings because, you know, I have to come in with my magnifying glass, you know, and get right down on whatever it is I'm looking at so that I can actually see it. So I have to push my puppy pool in. Um, I need a bigger one, but I don't have a table that will accommodate a bigger one. I'd love to have a bigger spinner table, one that has the arms that come out. But, you know, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't have either of those things because there's always, um, you know, space and funds. So, um, I, we just have to work with what we have, you know? So, okay. So let me get into my apron. Let me get this canvas prepared and then we'll be back and we'll get right to it. Okie dokie. So here we go. I had to spray down the back of my canvas. Uh, it was a little bit loose, so I just spritzed that down with water. Um, that helps to tighten the material back up again. And then I've taped the back of the canvas, and I've gone ahead 
and put my base coat down, my white paint, and that is um, all the paint that I'm using today is Bloom recipe paint, basically. Um, so it's it's all made with house paint. This base, straight out of the can, Glidden Fundamentals white interior semi-gloss house paint. Um, the other paints are all mixed with Josanya gloss varnish and Bare 8300 deep base untinted gloss house paint. So, um, we are going to get started. Now, silly me, uh, before I put this base coat down, I wasn't even thinking. I'm like, okay, I want to make sure that I stay in the center of this. And so I had my husband help me because that's a hard thing for me. Um, so he drew a nice line down the center. And I was like, oh, yay, thank you so much. I'll be able to follow that. Well, duh. Then I just covered it all up with this white house paint. Yeah, it's Monday, y'all. <laughs> so, okay, we are going to get started. I have changed my mind a little bit about the order that I'm going to lay these paints down in. Um, I'm going to start with the TLP Cappuccino pretty pretty I'm gonna start with this one Now, oh, okay, what I'm going to do, and y'all might think that I have lost my mind, uh, but what I like to use to swipe with are index cards. Do I have that in the camera? I don't know if I do or not. <laughs> I like to use index cards. So, that is what I'm going to use. And I have a black cell activator that is one part Amsterdam oxide black and three parts Australian Floetrol. So I am just going to put um, that right on my index card. And give me just a second. And I will show you what that looks like. Maybe. <laughs> I just put it right on my index card. Okay. Now I'm going to start right here. And I am just going to lay this down on my paint. I missed some spots. and drag it down, okay? That one, not 
Not really totally thoroughly happy with that one, you guys. Not gonna lie. Hmm. Okay. I... Give me just a second. Let me see if I can find another device. Okay. I'm going to stick with the index cards, but what I did was I cut them in half. Um, they were just a little bit too hard to handle the way that they were. And I'm going to use like the more narrow side. Okay, so um, I still don't know that this is, hmm, I've only used really narrow strips of these to do this before, but we're going to, we're going to see. I like the flexibility. I feel like I have more control with these than I do with a solid, like, plastic scraper kind of a thing. So, it takes a minute. Bear with me. And you have to work fast with the index cards, though, as fast as you can, because they will, um, they'll start to curl up on you. So much better. Yay! Yay! Okay. Like I said, it, you know, it, it takes some practice to get used to the feel of swiping, regardless of what kind of swiping tool you're using, it just takes a little practice. So, okay, I'm gonna have to turn this a little bit. Look at my paint, my center line of paint spreading out. This is gonna have some this is gonna have some pretty colors in it, you guys. Okay, I am going to I don't know if I can fix it or not, but I may just like totally screw it up by trying to do this, but I am gonna try. I'm going to try to fix that first, that first one, there's a big hole in it right there, I'm not liking that, okay, I'm going to try to come in the center of this. Hold this paint down again. Okay. That might spin off. I don't know. 
it might it might spin off. Okay. I'm probably going to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch me do the other side of this. My pool is collapsing. Ah. I'm trying to get it at the right angle. Now, I just cut um, that index card that I just used. I just cut it in half, basically, because I don't need a whole piece that wide um, to finish up this little end here. So I just cut that in half. Trying to spin on me. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch me do the other side. But you see what I'm doing here. I may just, uh, I'll just come back. I'll just go ahead and do it and I'll come right back. Okay, so um, this is what we have. Okay, now I am going to. Uh, what am I going to do? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I've never done one of these before, you guys. So I think I'm going to. I'm going to try to tilt this way a little bit. This paint is thick, so it is not going to tilt the same. As your regular acrylic paints, it's just not. It's just not going to move like that, so I may just have to spin it instead, which is also kind of scary. But I'm going to try tilting a little bit here first. And this has taken me a while, so there's that issue too, that, you know, this house paint starts to um, dry up. I'm trying to get it as even as I can on the spinner and hope, 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 fingers crossed. Here she is. Oh my gosh. You guys. I don't know if you can see this color shift and shimmer. It is phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal. Look at those cells. I love this piece right here. 
This is so cool. This was a super fun technique. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm super, super excited with the way that this turned out. It is so pretty. Super, super pretty. Uh, I'm trying to like shift the angles here, hoping that you can get some kind of a feel for that color shift. Let me zoom in on some of these. Look at those cells. Oh, can you see that color shift? Of course, my phone goes out of focus. What is the deal? Hello? Phone? Stop it. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty, y'all. So pretty. So, so pretty. Hey, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate you joining me. Um, you know, subscriptions are free, of course. And if you hit that little bell, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. So, um, I really appreciate you all. This is so much fun. And, and I'm so grateful that I get to share it with you. Uh, wonderful people. And as always, let's paint a world filled with beauty, inspiration, and hope. And I'll post a couple of still shots at the end here for you guys. So, thank you so much. We'll see you next time.